The most interesting work that I've done is in developing new methodology for computing machines and cyber physical systems that are distributed machines to be able to do extract information from data that sets up their context in which they are making a decision. That's what computing machines have not been able to do because they process information much better than humans. They're much faster, but they can't situate themselves in an environment. We've developed a theory for that, and it's machine extractable intelligence. So the value of that is that we don't have to model the whole world for machines and tell them exactly where they are and what they should do right now and program them that way. But with sensors and distributed information, they can collect the right information and situate themselves in the environment and be able to make relevant decisions to their current environment. We are using them for developing a concept of border control where you could throw sensors across the border and have some more expensive sensors uh, available when needed and you're just kind of watching who is crossing the border and be able to detect illegal border crossings at the right moment. So that is very much situational intelligence. Now, the, the difficulties in having, in being able to do this were if it's raining, the sensor data is very different. If it's sunny or windy, the acoustic sensors are polluted. The information is highly polluted. So they need to be able to situate themselves and say, okay, today it's raining, therefore my decisions will have to be made in a different domain than, than before. The classification boundaries change. The Army Research Lab uh, for the Department of Homeland Security is actually running our algorithms in experimental setups right now.